Hey YouTube, uh, I'm back with a video that I've sort of been long overdue. Um, finished up the home theater and uh, the delay was due to, we had flooding in our basement so as you can see here we got new carpeting from what we had before. Um, we had a lot of standing water coming in so we put in a sump pump and drain tile. Uh, the house was built in the late 50s so it didn't have that but this is the room finished up, finished painting. A um, few odds and ends. I still got to get some uh, blinds there for that little window. That keeps some light. I just got some blanket stuff there for now. Got the speaker, uh, the surround set up. Um, still have to move that kind of stuff. Just finished a walk in closet, so still a few things around. Uh, this stuff's the same. Got the Blu ray, uh, the Sony. Uh, I got a new receiver, the 2112. I upped that from the 1613. And then my same sub, the Bic. Son got a little coloring table and a big dog for his one year old one birthday. Uh, Xbox, the Wii, Blu rays, DVDs, things like that. And here is the screen setup. It's a 120 inch screen that uh, I made from scratch. I just bought wood from Menards. The frame is uh, built using 2x2s two um, all around the entire frame. And then I just used some uh, Pine Ranch base for the, tra for the border. Uh, and then the black is just wrapped in black velvet all around. I did have the Bic uh, Venturi speakers and I substituted those out for the Andrew Jones Pioneers and these things bump pretty darn good. Um, I'm glad I made the switch. The mid-range I'd say is the biggest difference between these and the Bix. In terms of overall volume, the Bix put out a lot of volume, but these are these are clear. I know some people have made comments about you know the Bix are great. Some people said the Bix aren't good. Uh, I got a deal on them, which is why I bought them. But um, so yeah, here's the projector mounted. It's the BenQ 1080 ST. It's a short throw. I had to get a short throw just because I had to avoid uh, the soffit that hangs down. I couldn't have mounted anything really in that area there. I toyed with the idea of mounting something back there, but it would just have to be too low and I couldn't really get anything because these ceilings are only seven feet. So um, I'll give you sort of just a quick little test of what it sounds like in here now that everything is sort of complete and finished. And I'll show a quick little setup of how this how this picture works, how it looks. Here's a quick little sound clip. Okay, so here, uh, so I'm going to show a clip of the town. Driver's name is Arthur Shea, former Medford police officer, 57 years old. As soon as his partner leaves with the coal bag, Marty cracks a herald, and he don't look up till the guy gets back. Marty McGuire, 
Cummins Armored Courier. 5'10", 220, 52 years old. Picks up every Wednesday and Friday at exactly 8.12. Makes $110 a day. Carries a Sig 9. And he's about to get robbed. We're fucked if we see a helicopter. We're fucked if we see SWAT. We see a cruiser. Stop. Take out the engine blocks. Keep moving. No one needs to get hurt. Now these guys like to test you though. They want to get hurt for ten dollars an hour. Don't get in the way. Let's go. That's just a little sneak peek about sort of what it looks like, what it sounds like. If any of you have any questions about sort of the setup or what I got going on or anything like that, just uh, post a comment, let me know. And thanks for watching.